PDF Converter Search B is a piece of a rogue software categorized as a browser hijacker. Upon successful installation, it makes alteration to browser settings in order to promote uh, PDF Converter Search B.com, an uh, illegitimate search engine. Additionally, PDF Converter Search B collects browsing related information and due to the questionable methods employed to distribute browser hijackers, they are also considered to be potentially unwanted applications. Uh, PDF Converter Search B is uh, often spread through bundling with some free applications, or it may be installed as a result of some fake software update alert. Of course, you need to be very careful not to allow any hidden installations to take place. If you mistakenly install this hijacker, you notice that something strange is uh, going with your default search engine. Because of the hijacking, the results are delivered by Yahoo, Bing or by some other unfamiliar search engine such as this S3 Arch. In order to fix the issue, we need to implement some manual fixes. Go to the menu, click on More Tools and now Extensions. You need to carefully examine all the extensions here. If you find something suspicious, uh, you may simply deactivate it. After that, when you submit, uh, when you resubmit the queries, you notice that the uh, Google search is your default search engine once again. Even though this should fix the problem, I still recommend that you double check your Mac and its safety with a combo cleaner antivirus for Mac. Get it on the page combocleaner.com, download the software, install the program and start scanning your Mac with it by clicking on start combo scan button. So this will begin the detailed analysis of your Mac. This is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner and Ivars. After the scanning is completed, uh, you'll see the detailed report about the status of your Mac. You may go to the Antivirus area and click on Review Results. Uh, the Antivirus will give the total number of threats and to review them, click here. Now, uh, the program will show you the name of each specific thread and, what's very important, it will also show you its uh, exact location. So, what you can do is to click on uh, this uh, icon, this button that says Show in Finder. So, it will show you its location uh, in Finder and you may remove uh, each specific thread manually, one at a time. So this is the free uh, manual approach to uh, deleting threads from your Mac computer. And um, once all these threads are deleted manually, the problems with your Mac should be fixed. Or you may uh, consider deleting these threads automatically. However, this can be done only with the premium version of the program. Thanks for watching.